In my previous videos, I introduced you a little to the course of the affairs and how we came to such life that now we decided to make a yard with our own hands. So, if you haven't watched them yet, check them out! In this video, I want to start demonstrating the most interesting part – making all the necessary parts. There are two types of yurts – Mongolian and Turkic. They differ in their design and materials. This is due to geography and available natural materials for construction. We have boards as building materials and access to a carpentry shop, so we choose a Mongolian yard mix. We made several options in terms of size and area. For a start, we decided to try a smaller structure, with a diameter near 4.5 meters. I think it's time to go to the carpentry shop. At first, we selected the required number of boards. A little more than 100 pieces. Then the edges were machined, so that they were all the same. Then we began to sort according to the principle. The best board for the rafter system, the rest are for the racks. We had to consider the knots very carefully, because the board may crack under load, and we wouldn't like that very much. After sorting, it's necessary to cut the lower edge at 90 degrees. This side will be connected to the floor. We calculated the necessary angle of connection of rafter with Rex, and it turned out to be a 60 degrees and 20 minutes. For simplicity of calculations, we will say 60 degrees. We cut the other side of the rack in the same way. Now it looks quite fast, but in fact, because of missile attacks and not only, we have a serious problems with electricity, so sometimes we can work only 2 hours and then wait for 4 hours until the power appears. Therefore, what happens here in a few minutes usually takes more than one day. When we have finished with the racks, we move to the ceiling beams. We double-check each one before cutting 
and choose the best site for docking with the racks and the upper wheel. In the next video I'll try to show you how we made this upper wheel, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel. When the sorting is finished, we start cutting, still the same 60 degrees. The difference is that these boards will have such an angle on both sides. Well, we are done with these boards. Next, they need to be polished well. I hope that 100 setting wheels will be enough. After sanding, we process the edge, make it rounded, and at the end we use fine sandpaper by hand. It looks cool. Next, there will be a process of treatment with an antiseptic, thanks to which the wood will be kept in the same condition for several decades, and then varnishing. Thanks to the recipe we found, the boards can be stored for at least 50 years. The terrace board will be in close contact with the moisture, so it will definitely be treated with this solution. Looking ahead, I'll say that we got so excited that we decided to make the antiseptic and the varnish ourselves. For this we found a chemist who helped us to calculate all the necessary components for our antiseptic, we bought the chemical reagents and in the nearest future we will conduct a test mixing. And I think that is worth wetting and drying the boards, so that the pile rises. And then resanding a little. I wonder what will come of it. It was a good idea. Maybe it's time to end this video. Write in the comments how do you like this one. And also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Because a lot of interesting things are ahead.